Education and training form a cornerstone of our I2P2 program. It ensures that everyone from the ground up is equipped with that knowledge and skills that's necessary for a safe workplace. We start with general program awareness training for all team members. Boom. This includes a thorough understanding of safety policies, the program's goals and procedures, key personnel responsibilities and contact info, and workers' rights under the OSHA Act to fully participate in the program. This also includes the right to report hazards and incidents without fear of retaliation. You've heard me say that a few times. It must be important. This foundation should ensure that every employee is aligned with your safety vision and understands their role in it. Next, we have to provide specialized training for management and supervisors. It's not just about your front line. This should focus on their leadership and encouraging participation in the program as well as their specific responsibilities, like how to respond to employee hazard or incident reports and techniques for conducting inspections and incident investigations. Workers also need to receive training specific to their roles in the program. That's gonna include how to recognize and report hazards, how to apply the selected risk reduction and control strategies into their daily tasks. And then training should also cover the practical aspects of reporting injuries, illnesses and incidents and emphasize the importance of early and accurate reporting for the most effective management of workplace safety. It's important that these training sessions are accessible to all workers, regardless of the language or literacy level. Any potential barriers that get in the way of people's right to work in an environment that is safe and healthy. Part of that workplace culture of safety, encourage open dialogue, allow multiple opportunities for questions and feedback. That open approach is going to help in clarifying doubts and it's also going to encourage a more supportive and proactive safety culture. Lastly, training isn't a one and done thing. You should hold regular trainings, refresh all employees on their roles and responsibilities. People forget it happens. That's why we train and retrain and retrain. Oh, by the way, those training materials, they should be updated as the program evolves. Go to the next level, reinforce and build.